Hello, my name is Alex. I am a student of English. This is my story. I want to tell you about my life in London. I want to tell you about my fantastic teacher. You can read my story. You can learn English with me. It is a beautiful summer day. I am traveling on a train. Two women are on the train with me. The women sit opposite me. The women speak English. I don't understand much. I study English. But I am a beginner. I don't know many words. I start to speak to the women. I say some words in my basic English. The women understand what I want to say. I am happy. I say that I want to learn English. The women tell me that they are from England. They go home from a conference. Our conversation is ten minutes long. The next station is my station. I say goodbye. The women gave me their address and phone number. They tell me that I can visit them in England. Then we say goodbye. After this meeting, I worked on my English every day. I translate texts. And I watch films in English. In six months, my English will be much better. It is good. But I want to know more. I go to London. I want to study English in London. When I am in London, I go to a school. My first. The lesson is on Monday. I met my teacher and other students in the class. My teacher is a young lady. She is very nice. We say our names. We say where we are from. Then the lesson starts. Our teacher has a question for us. She wants to know how we study English. Our teacher says that she can teach us a very effective method to learn English. This method is very simple. Our teacher tells us that we don't have to study. We don't have to read textbooks. But we have to use English a lot. It is very good for me. I don't like studying. And I don't like textbooks. Then we speak about what is important when we learn a new language. Our teacher tells us we need languages for communication. Languages help us say ideas and understand ideas. So when you learn a new language, the best method is to use the language for communication, and this is what we will do in our course. We will speak a lot. Many students try to remember new words. They also study grammar rules. And these students don't use English for speaking. They study the language, but they don't use the language. Of course, you need to learn new words and new grammar. But you don't have to study them. In this course, I want to show you a very simple and effective method. How to learn words in grammar. I like what our teachers say. Our lesson continues. We speak about our hobbies and what we do in our free time. We speak in pairs or with our teacher. We speak all the lessons. I like it. I am really happy. This system of learning is very good for me. Chapter 2 How I Learn Words I go to school on Tuesday again. One of the students asks a question, which is interesting for me. She asks, What is the best way to learn new words? Our teacher says there are many things you can do to learn new words. 
I will tell you what is statistically the most effective way for learning new words. It is reading. When people read when they learn a new language, they learn twice as fast as people who don't read. It's good to read for at least 30 minutes every day. I want to show you what you should do if you want to get the maximum profit from reading. First, it is very important that the book or text which you read is interesting for you. It is important that you enjoy reading. The book can be a nice story, or it can have some useful information for your job or your hobby. Don't read a text which isn't interesting for you. It is also good to read a text in which you know most of the words. When you don't know many words, you can get frustrated. You always want to enjoy everything you do while using English. It is good to choose a text which is interesting and also okay for your level. When you read the text and you see a word which you don't understand, you take a dictionary and you look at the word in the dictionary. Then you continue reading. You don't have to write the word anywhere. You don't have to make a list of new words. You don't have to try to remember the word. You only concentrate on understanding the text. When it is clear to you what the word means, you continue reading. Anytime there is a new word for, you do the same. Reading also has another great advantage. When you read, you learn new words and you also learn how every word is connected to other words in the sentence. You can see how to link the words correctly. This way of learning new words is very effective. Try it and you will see how fast you can learn new words. Then we continue with the lesson. We speak about the situation in England and about the best jobs for students. This is good for me because I want to have a job. I want to do something after school. I ask other students if they know where I can find a job. They tell me that I should go to a job centre. The job centre offers a lot of jobs for students. This is good for me. I am happy that I know where I can find a job. When my day at school is finished, I go to the job centre. I don't know what jobs I can do. So I asked the lady at the job centre what the best job for a student is. The lady tells me that they have some good jobs for students. She tells me that I can be a cleaner or waiter in a cafe. I tell the lady that I have no experience with these jobs. She tells me that my English is good enough to work at the cafe. The training is not difficult and I can have more chances to speak English than being a cleaner. She tells me that I can start my job on Thursday. It is all good for me. I'm happy that I have a job where I can practice English. When you want to learn new words, read for 30 minutes every day. Chapter 3. How I Learn Pronunciation On Wednesday, I go to school again. There is one student in the class who is more quiet than the other students. He is from South Korea. When our teacher asks if we have any questions for her, this student from Korea says that he has a question. He says that he has a big problem with pronunciation. He knows that his pronunciation is not very good. But he doesn't know how to improve it. He doesn't speak much. Because he doesn't want others to listen to his bad pronunciation. He says that he reads and watches films in English a lot. He understands very well, but he also wants to improve his speaking. 
He asks if there is something he could do to be better at pronunciation. When my teacher hears this, she says, Okay, I will tell you something about pronunciation and how to practice it. I will also teach you a great technique, which can help all of you to be better at pronunciation. First, we have to look at why students have problems with pronunciation. When we speak, we have to move our mouth. We have to use muscles in our mouth. We all do that. The problem is when you speak English. Sometimes you use your muscles the same way you would use them in your native language. Then your pronunciation is different from the pronunciation of native speakers. This happens to many students who learn English. Almost everybody has a little different pronunciation than they should have. In fact, it is not a big problem. Because usually people understand what you want to say. Even if your pronunciation is not perfect. However, you can work on your pronunciation and make it better. There's a great technique which can help you a lot. The name of this technique is shadowing. The technique is very simple. When you do shadowing, you simply copy the sound which you hear. When children learn their first language, they learn it by copying. They copy after their parents again and again. And one day their pronunciation is perfect. You can learn English pronunciation the same way. This is what you can do. You take some video or audio recording, which is not very fast and which you understand very well. You listen and you copy what you hear when you hear it. That is all. Then, our teacher goes to YouTube. YouTube comes and she finds a good video where the shadowing technique is well demonstrated. We watch the video, then we all try to do shadowing for about three minutes. Then our teacher tells us shadowing is also good when you are preparing for a presentation and you want to have good pronunciation. Before the presentation you can go to some place where you are alone. And you can do shadowing for about 10 minutes. You will see how much it will help you to have better pronunciation during the presentation. This is very interesting for me. I haven't heard about this technique before. When the lesson finishes, I go to the school reception. I asked the lady if there were any sports activities at school. I would like to do some sports in England. The lady at the reception says yes. We have a table tennis team and a football team. The football team has training today. I am very happy. Because sport is very important in my life. I go to the training of the football team. I meet a lot of players from different countries. The players are from Brazil, Japan, Russia, Spain, Argentina and Italy. I like the training. I am very happy that my time in England has started well. I have a great teacher. I also have some new friends for my football team. Also, tomorrow I'm starting my job. When you want to have good pronunciation, repeat after native speakers. Chapter 4 How I Practice Speaking On Thursday, I go to school again. We have a new student in our class. Her name is Monica. And she is from Italy. At the beginning of the lesson, my teacher asks Monica some questions. My teacher knows Monica because Monica visited her class one year ago. It was a class for beginners and it was only for two weeks during summer holiday. 
When Monica speaks, her English is beautiful. Her pronunciation is very good, and she is very fluent. My teacher is very happy, and she tells Monica, your school in Italy must be very good. Monica says, I don't go to any school. I learn English at home. I use techniques from you. I do a lot of reading, shadowing and thinking aloud. I try to think more in English than in Italian. This is how I work on my English. The two weeks which I spent last summer at your class helped me a lot. You showed me the way. I know how to work on my English every day. This is why I wanted to go to your class again. Because one year ago, I was a beginner and now I can speak English. I want to learn from you again. My teacher is very happy when she hears these words. She thanks Monica for her hard work. It is all very interesting to me. I already know about reading. I also know the shadowing technique. But Monica also speaks about thinking aloud. I don't know what it is. So I ask our teacher what is thinking aloud. Our teacher says it is a very effective technique, you have to have a strong motivation to learn English, if you want to benefit from this technique. It is also good to know that for some people this technique is a little crazy. But when you start to think aloud, your English can improve very fast. I say, I have a strong motivation. I don't care if the technique is crazy. If it helps, I want to learn it. Can you teach us this technique? OK, it is actually very simple. You think in your native language all day every day, it is normal. Now you can start to think in English, and when you start to think in English then you can think aloud. You simply say aloud what you think. That is all. I say, it is very simple. Why is it very effective? Our teacher says maybe you can ask Monica. She uses this technique. Maybe she can tell you more about this technique. Then our teacher asks Monica if it is okay for her to speak about her experience with thinking aloud. It is no problem for Monica. She says, when I started with this technique, it wasn't easy. I started with very simple sentences. For example, I can speak English. It is good that I can speak English. I want to be better. I need to practice every day. I don't know many words, but I can use these words well. I can say, with these words I can do this. This is great. The sentences were really simple, but at the beginning, there was one problem. My thinking in Italian was long and complicated. I wasn't able to say in English exactly what I was saying in Italian. I needed to find a simpler form for English. To think in simple English was the hardest part. But after some time it was normal for me to think in English. Then something interesting happened. I met a man from Australia. He was on holiday in Italy. I was still a beginner, but we started to speak English. I could see that I was able to speak with him without big problems. My sentences were simple and short. But I was able to speak. I didn't translate in my head from Italian to English. After the meeting with the man from Australia, I started to use thinking aloud more. This technique helped me a lot with my speaking. I still use it every day. It is really a very effective technique. Our teacher, 
Thanks, Monica, for her experience with thinking aloud. I want to use this technique because I also want to be better at speaking. When you want to speak English fluently, think aloud. When you want to learn English, read, listen, and speak. Do each activity for thirty minutes every day. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe for more videos.